George Chikiris is an actor, dancer, and singer who began his career appearing in some of Hollywood's most famous movies of the 1950s. From Gentlemen Prefer Blondes to White Christmas and There's No Business Like Show Business. In 1961, he was cast as Bernardo in West Side Story, for which he received an Academy Award. In the years that followed, he appeared in numerous television shows. Today, retired from acting, he creates sterling silver jewelry collections. Positive Spin recently interviewed George Chikiris about his best-selling book entitled My West Side Story, A Memoir. From that very first moment and the snapping, and the, especially the dancing, yeah, the, which I know that you're a lot. But what made that happen? Um, yeah, well, been, Jerry Robbins made it Jerry happen. Robbins. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I guess you were not surprised to hear how wonderful, what a wonderful time uh, we all had. Yeah, we had a great time. Yeah, great time. Now, how do you feel? It seems to be a reinsurgence right now because Spielberg's doing a movie, a readapted. Right. So um, there's more energy, I guess. Well, you know, the, the truth is, it's never stopped. It never stopped. It's, it's been an ongoing thing yeah. all these years. Yeah. Uh, and because there are always uh, stage productions of it, I've seen. You know, I spent, I have spent time, time uh, in Japan over the years as well in business and stuff. So uh, even in Japan, I've seen American companies come over and do West Side, and they love it, of course. So. Uh, and I've seen other product, stage productions over the, over, over the years. And it's always great to see a stage production because you can see new kids all the time. Mm -hmm. And they love doing it more than anything they've ever done. Wow. So uh, it's, it, no matter who does it, everybody has a great, a great time. It's a beautiful piece of material for like younger people. Yeah. And because uh, it's really a serious, well written, important piece. Right. And so kids just, just love it. They get so involved in it. Now, what about what you're doing now? I understand you're doing jewelry. Tell us well, a bit about what you're yeah, doing. yeah, I've been doing it for about 10 or 15 years now. Um, it, was, it started as a hobby. It's a small business now, but it's something uh, I love doing because I always like making things. Uh, and uh, so I've really, uh, I accidentally, uh, just uh, as, a, as a hobby, uh, I ended up with a, a number of different pieces. and. And uh, the, the thing that got me uh, into uh, the professional aspect was because Tony's distributor, who's now a very good friend of mine, saw my pieces downtown. He wanted to sell my things in Japan. He's been doing that for quite a, few, quite a long time now. So, uh, so I, I love doing the jewelry, sterling silver jewelry especially, because uh, I love the, the polish and the, the perfection of, of, uh, of silver. Uh, love gold too, but I've never. Really, and all my stuff is really silver, and, and uh, it's just a great thing to do. It's really, you know, I, everybody, no matter who, we're all creative in one oh, some way or another. Absolutely. With me, aside from show business, it was jewelry, so I, mean, I, I love that hobby of paying something interesting for you. Like, you know, some people paint, some people sculpt, some people play the Everybody has a hobby, and mine turned out to be jewelry. Uh, no, I have to ask about your upcoming movie about Alzheimer's. Is oh, my, my mother died from Alzheimer's, so when I saw it. Yes. Was... Well, you know what? Um, I worked a whole day on that movie. <laughs> Um, and the, the reason I got involved is because of the subject matter. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew I didn't know the people, the producers of the film well, but I knew someone who was working with them. And I knew they had some, you know, Olivia Dukakis was involved, and they had some really wonderful people uh, working on it as well. So I, and because of the subject matter, mm -hmm. I thought I'd like to be part of it. And so uh, uh, I, maybe I worked a day and a half, <laughs> but so it was a very small thing, but I didn't mind that because uh, it's, it's important. Yeah. Oh, please. Yeah. So, what? So finally, we just want to promote the book for a little bit because oh. we're going to be promoting it for you. So okay. Tell, just a little bit about what's in the book. and. Okay. Well, my, yes. my, I won't surprise you. The, the title is My West Side Story. Um, it's, oh. it's really just... Um, 
um, me going back uh, and, and remembering uh, all the wonderful people that I've met, gotten to know, became friends, friends, people I've gotten to work with, some amazing people, and it's, it's been, I've been really lucky uh, to have those uh, associations with people in any way. Because I think that that's, you know, you talk about peace, it's people and how we treat each other. And uh, so, uh, in my book, the thing that I that, that mattered to me was uh, how, uh, how I appreciated people and, uh, and how lucky I was to meet so many wonderful people and get to work on different things with so many different people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just been, uh, I feel like it's, it's been a really lovely time in so many ways. There's people. Right. Right. That's how we're here. This comes down to that, right? Yeah. Well, Lucy, thank you so much. We really appreciate you taking the time. Yes, thank you. Thank you.